We're gonna try something we never tried out here before. Six cents provoke 106 jerk bait. Let's give this bad boy a sling and see how well it works out here. Jerk bait something I don't have much confidence in. So we're gonna find out. Oh. oh, just had one. There it is. Oh, dang it, man. There's one right, oh. They are munching this thing though. If I threw a crankbait in there, I'd get one. Almost automatically. But I want to try for this jerkbait. Oh, so much grass. So much grass. I'm breaking in a little bit, that's all. There's another one right there. Stay down. That's a decent little chunk right there, guys. Woo, that's what we're after. That is what we're after. <sighs> Look at that. That's a freaking chunk. Hell yeah. That's what we're after. Right there. There we gotta go. First little chunk of the morning on that provoke. Awesome. Let's get it guys. Today's gonna be a good day. How about we go for number two? Let's get another one. It's kind of chilly this morning. So I got my long sleeve six cents essential hooded shirt on today. Gonna keep me nice and warm. All I'm doing is giving it a one big jerk and kind of like sit, occasionally giving it two pop. Can't beat an old jerk bait. Oh, I think my line's messed up. That's why I was acting funny. Yep, I got my line all twisted around the eye. There we go. Take all this off. That was water is so warm compared to outside. Oh, I just cast it over there. As soon as I hit the water. Feels like a good size too. Unless I foul hooked him. Nope, there he is. <sighs> Let me push the button on this. Bam. Number two. Number two. Look at this angry dude while he tries to bite me. So I can get you back in the water. Hold on, bud. You want to keep that grass lipstick right there? Go ahead. Whew. Okay, well, it's turning out pretty good. So a cold snap we have. Fall bite. Jerk bait's like almost like the perfect thing if you think about it it's gonna be a good day thank y'all for riding with me and watching i'm gonna try to travel the bank today see what we can find looking for big mama looking for big mama that wants to come up and feed Check my line, make sure I don't have any nicks in there. Yeah, I feel a little bit of nicks. Might have to retie that. Not sure. 
We'll find out. Why won't we? Any little dudes up shallow? Got this grass line right here that occasionally you'll find them sitting up in this. So I'll spook them every time I every time I start stomping around the bank. Get around this tree, all these dang bugs. Try right down there. Let's see if that'll work. This one hook does not like me today. Get off there and get off that front one. It keeps on wanting to go to that front one for some reason. But we can't do that today. No, we can't. Why are you stuck on the eye? Around you go. And you're stuck on another one. What in the world is going on? Oh, thank you. Let's try right out in the open. Whoa. I don't know what kind of cast that was, but. Oh, technical error there. Do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do, do. I keep on having them blow up over there by that grass. I don't just sit by the dang grass. Might have to if that's where they all are. We got current pushing in right next to the grass. So they're all stacked up there, I guess, waiting for bait fish. I might just have to go back over there and see if we can get one. All right, have you guys been following me on Instagram, 863Bassin? Y'all should know about this quake right here. It's been putting in work for me. So, let's see if I can get another one. Chew on it. Last time I was here, I got stuck. I lost one, and I got another plane flying over my dang head. got bubbles up here like that gator down there and I just yep yep got one on the quake another decent size little guy if you quit jumping around please I would love to help you if you keep on jumping around, mother, keep on jumping around, you're not gonna get de hooked. Ah, you mother, this guy has some sharp mother teeth. Ow. All right. Do do, let's get the hook out of you. One there. One there. They can't resist the rattle. That dude has some sharp teeth, man. Woo! He's been munching on some bait fish. That's for sure. Because those things are sharp. That's how you can tell they've been eating bait fish when their teeth are sharp. So, that little dude is pretty chunky. So, he's been. Oh boy. He's been feeding up. And I've been backlashing. Son of a gun with fish slime fingers. These are always the best times to take a bird's nest out. But as simple as that, you find the loop, pick the loop out, and you're free and clear simple as that. Don't overcomplicate it. 
one fish to every 30 pounds of grass. Now that might be another fish right there. That's like a sweet spot. Oh, the soleus is burning today. You all guys haven't used my discount code for favorite. I suggest you do so. This phantom cranking rod paired up with the soleus is an awesome crankbait rod. From fishing deep to shallow cranking chatter baits that hybrid glass composite and you feel every little thing they're so sensitive I'd highly recommend picking up this rod and I'll save you 20% just use my code KBOLS20 20% off your entire purchase it'll knock off a good little chunk Everyone wants to save some money. Well, why pay full price? They seem pretty dang active over here. Anyone want a frog? Huh? Top water bite's so iffy right now, especially in the fall. See, so sometimes they annihilate it. And sometimes you can go a month straight without getting in a single frog bite. Nope, no frog bite for me today. I don't think so, unless we throw a little bit later. <clears throat> I don't know. All right, let's try over here. Got the old jerk bait again. Provoke. All the rain we've been having. It's really stained up this water. There's one. That feels like a decent one. And it came off, you son of a mother. Every every time they feel decent. They come off. Hooked in a weird, weird way. Because these six cents hooks, they don't like letting go. Once they pin you, you're mine. When it's not grass, it's trash. Oh, I'm gonna put that in the bag. If you're gonna bring trash to the lake, take it home with you. Don't just throw it in the water. I mean, come on. You gotta protect the water for our future generations, not just your generation. If you do, take your trash with you, kudos to you, You're doing the right thing. It is getting warm out here. It was nice and cool. It's starting to definitely heat up though. Finally. <clears throat> Good size one too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, don't fight it, don't fight it, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Come on. There we go. Hold on, dude. Hold on, dude. Don't be angry. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Let me wipe you guys off. Whew. That is a good one. He straight up choked. Choked that thing. Alright guys, I need to try to figure out how to get this hook out of this dude. Good little chunky guy. It's a hook all the way down his throat. Let's see if we can get this out of there. 
very carefully. All right, we got it out. There you guys go, quick 70. Get this guy out. He's swimming away, swimming away. Whew, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. He was probably only about three and a half, but I'll take it. I will take it. Just glad I didn't spit it. And my line is completely nicked up. Time to retie. All right, we're all retied. Something to learn from this is that we had a full moon last night. And we have a full moon tonight. But we had a full moon but we also had we also had a uh, cold front push through. So at the same time, they weren't eating. So those two combined, lined up, you get this result. Fish after fish after fish. And they're all liking that quake. Tell this dude has those red lips. He's been eating crawfish or eating stuff off the bottom. Best way to determine, especially with a, a full moon, it's the best time to be throwing craw colors because they munch craws around a full moon. Right. Ooh, you little crapper. It scared the crap out of me. Went to go grab it, he bit down on me. Alrighty, another one down. I'll come back for you. You stay over here, don't go nowhere. And we got another plane. Oh my. Oh my. But anyways, what I was trying to say and I got distracted by the fish. We had a full moon. We had a cold front. Kinda normally they'll stay up all night and they'll eat during a full moon. And the bite's kind of crap during the day. But since we had that cold front, it kind of shut them down, it seems like. So I'm able to find them and they're able to bite today because they didn't eat, they didn't eat last night. And another one. He spit it right there. Bag nab it. See, I wouldn't really call this a huge lake. I'd call it a huge pond. A lot of ponds don't have a lot of shad in them like lakes do. So throwing her on a bluegill color, that normally is the main forage that they eat in ponds. So next time you fish a pond, tie on a bluegill color. This one right here is bluegill spawn. It's Quake 70 from Six Cents. You can go pick one up at sixcentsfishing.com. Save 10%. Just use my code, 863BASSIN10. That'll knock off 10% off your total purchase. Come on. Where'd it go? Oh, you kidding me. Broke off all the way down there. Always check your knots. Son of a gun. All right, since we broke off on the quake, which was doing awesome, by the way, we're down to the frog, provoked jerkbait, and a shaky worm. So we're gonna head down here. Let's see what we can get on these three cents. That's a long haul back to the truck. Let's try this whole jerk bait off. Jerk bait. Try this dude, see if we can get another fish on him. Maybe we'll throw this all the way out in the middle. Keep on thinking there's something stuck on my handle. But I forgot my thumb is like raw. What do you guys think? Frog or jerk bait? Try the jerk bait for a minute. Then we're gonna tie on that frog. 
throw that frog around. Can't be around grass without throwing a frog. Drives me crazy. Fish. Whichever one of you guys said jerk bait, you guys were correct. Because we got another one. You're blind, you can't see. You're blinded by the provoke. Whew. Little. Okay. He wanted to jump as soon as I went to go release him. Angry dude. Let's see if. Okay, this one's not good. Hopefully I don't cast this one off. Let's get another one. On my last video, I was talking about how certain success comes with hate. I got a lot of positive feedback from you guys. I appreciate every single kind word you guys have said. It means the world to me. I do my best to interact with everybody over on Instagram and on YouTube. I just want to thank all you guys.